Hi guys, Squirrel here. I think it's time I did some trucking. I'm in Rostock, if you remember the previous episode, I went from Cardiff to Rostock in that massive disaster of a ride. And I've installed a mod, it's an oversized mod, so I'm just going to look for some uh, uh, heavy or oversized cargo, that's going to be it. I need to find a job that's got some oversized cargo, I'm not exactly sure what kind of cargo I'm going to get. I'm just wondering if there's anything in Bremen. That looks interesting. Whoa, that's like a giant pipe or something. Trouble is, Bremen to Lille, it's not really paying a lot of money. That's a bit of a drive. Think about Berlin, actually. That's boring. It's a decent drive. Oh no, 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 no! I'm not. I'm not going. <laughs> I'm not going back there again. That looks interesting. Diggers. It's not diggers. It's obviously replaced it with something else. That one looks interesting, but I think I think that's going to be the right one. Berlin to Metz. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, time to fire up the Scania. So I've installed this mod, and it's going to give me these kind of weird oversized trucks. I'm not. Exactly. I think that one I just picked up then, that job I'm going to go for now, I think it's a long one as opposed to a high one, because I think there are different ones. Some of them can really high, some of them can be re re really long. Now, in theory, all that means is I've just got to be careful when I go around bends, because... Um, how do I turn the light... Oh, what am I doing? I've got my lights on, and I'm pressing all the wrong keys. That's the problem is that <laughs> I don't put this game down for a week and then pick it back up again. I can't remember all the keys. There we go. Um, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, so I, in theory, all I need to do to take a big long load is take a massive wide berth. Or I think there might be some tricky bends, particularly any sharp bends. So I've got to, I've got to be careful with the route. But that looked like it was mostly motorway. So um, I'm guessing that should be okay. But something like this, going around a bend like like this one in a lead up to a motorway, that could be that could be interesting. To, oh, here we go, here we go. That's it, mate. Slow down, take your time, and then you're gonna do the classic. You're gonna zoom off, aren't you? Yeah, go on, put your foot down. No bed. <laughs> Okay, we're not far away. Here comes Berlin. That was a bit of a drive. Of course, the problem with driving all the way to another city without it paying is I'm just using money, I'm just burning money in fuel. And diesel's not exactly cheap these days. Uh, I've been to Berlin before, I think, so... Whoa. I shouldn't... Uh, yeah, I didn't discover it. I've been to Berlin before. And I'm just looking where I need to go. Straight on. Is that right or left? It's not exactly clear. Uh, oh, it's a left, isn't it? Shit, I'm in the wrong lane. Uh, time to move over. Looks like a left turn into a... Was it a digger I'm taking? Although it actually looked like giant long pipes or something. Oh, look at me. <laughs> the douchebag in the Scania. Just totally blocking the road off. <laughs> Screw you guys. If he was a white van anyway, I wouldn't really care that much. White van man. Most dangerous people on the road. Apart from guys in flat caps, yeah. Flat cap drivers. Oh, seriously, my experience. If, you, if there's a guy in front of you wearing a flat cap, stay away. Here we go, and... Whoa! I think that's it over there. Holy shit, what is that? Uh, do I want this one or do I want that one? 23, 16 grand... I could take that, but it's only 16 grand, isn't it? I think I'll take the 23 grand. Let's go for broke here. I uh, I could take that. I'm tempted. But the money's drawing me in. 24 tons of God knows what. Should we do it? Yeah, let's do it. Look, somebody's left their car here. What is that car? I re kind of recognise the shape. Holy shit, what is that? That looks like... Um, the blades off... Um, you know, wind farms, like a wind turbine. 
That looks like the, the really long blades off a massive wind turbine or something. Wow. Let's just get this reversed on here. I'm hoping there's no difference. Yeah, there we go. Let's do this. Holy shit, look at that. <laughs> that is ridiculously long. How many wheels on this trailer? Oh, crud, this is going to be interesting. Right. <clears throat> Let's get this show on the road. Oh, wow. Holy cow, look at that. Oversized load, you're not kidding. It's freaking epic. I'm guessing this game isn't going to uh, support these things too well, but this will be fun. Yeah, look at you and your pussy-sized trailer. You want to man up, dude? Yeah. Look at the boy. <laughs> the man over here in the Scania. That's what I'm talking about. I reckon it's lucky I've got um, double axles on the rear, you know. I think I need to go really wide. I don't know. I can't see out my mirror. Is that going to cut it? Oh, over the curb. But it's good. It's good. Jesus, that's long. Stay on green. Stay on green. Thank you. I wonder if uh, if my truck crosses the, the line at some traffic lights and then it changes to red and my trailer's still going over that white line. I wonder if I'm going to get fined for that. You know what? I think I'm going to... Um, I think I'm going to take it easy on this ride. That that run I did from Cardiff to Rostock, I kind of went hell for leather in places, and I <laughs> must admit I was getting a bit pissed at the way the game, the the um, the AI was treating me, and everything just oh god, everything just went wrong. If you haven't watched that, if you if you're watching this and you haven't watched Cardiff to Rostock disaster, go and watch it. It is just insane. But who knows what adventures this is going to bring, eh? I actually feel like a... Um, I actually feel like a, uh, a... A truck driver that's kind of... Earned his stripes. I mean, taking a, a thing like this on the road, I feel like I should have a bloody police escort. I'm just watching the inside of the, my trailer, though. And I, I'm just bristling up against that grass. These roads are not very wide. I'll tell you what I wouldn't want to do. God, thinking about it. You know, the... Um, you know when you cross the channel and you've got to go down those ramps or to get onto the Eurotunnel? No way. Just no way would this thing turn 90 degrees down those ramps. Shit. I <laughs> nearly went up there then. Okay. This should be a case of just staying wide, I reckon. But as long as that guy in front doesn't troll me, I'll try and keep some momentum up here. Just keep my truck as far left as I can. Probably a bit more left, I think. Yeah, I'm cutting the grass, but I got this. Uh, no. No, I don't got this. What have I just done? Oh, shit, I've hit the barriers. Oh, and of course there's a car behind me. I really don't want to hit him, because I'll get a fine for that. Luckily enough, the motorway's clear, because I'm going to have to go all the way over here, I think. Bloody hell. That is insane. That is so long that when I took that bend, the um, the inside of it, like the middle of it, is just... I don't know if I damaged my truck or not, my trailer then or not. It's on 2% my truck, so... Okay, um, so the bottom line is I'm going to have to take the bend as absolutely wide as I can. And that wasn't a particularly sharp bend, so I'm slightly getting worried now. Uh, if i got any 90 degree bends to come... Let's just move over here. If I've got any 90 degree bends, I am going to get screwed, I reckon. Hmm. Motorway's a piece of piss, of course. Nice straight road. Alright, dude. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Hell yeah. That is seriously big. If I saw that on the motorway, I'd run a mile. I think I might just stick in the middle lane. Screw it. <laughs> Not strictly legal, but... The AI doesn't care anyway. The AI is just one giant troll, so... What the hell? Stick in the middle lane, 
and then I've got maximum leeway. If anybody wants to undertake me, they can go for it. I'm not really sure what speed I should do on here. I could probably pick up speed all the way up to 80, maybe even 90, I don't know. The weight of this thing was quite heavy, wasn't it? It was like 22 tonnes or something. But this, the engine seems to be pulling quite well. So either the physics is wrong, or my engine's coping with this no problem. But I kind of expected it to struggle. Maybe when I start pulling up some hills, some decent hills. Right, uh, I think we are turning off shortly. Nice sunny day, actually. Sunday, 11 o'clock. Cruising down the middle. If anybody does try to get in that slow lane, I'm just going to come up. Oh, speed cameras. We'll have none of that. They're not like the bloody British ones. The thing is, they're, they're a lot more difficult to spot than the British ones, because they're just like a normal... I don't know, like a motorway sign, just some grey frame. Really hard to spot. And I didn't, to be honest with you, I didn't see the sign that said I was a uh, reduced speed limit. Here we go, we're getting off here. Uh, that doesn't look too sharp on the map. So, I think I'll just... Hopefully it's just grass on the inside and not any bloody barriers. Yeah, that's fine. That shouldn't be a problem. Ausfahrt. Is that German for exit? I think. Unless I'm mistaken. Yeah, it's a gentle bend. No problem at all. Okay. I don't know how many miles I've got to go. Is that 9 hours, 50 minutes, 378 miles? ETA, Sunday... Sunday night? You kidding me? Ah, oh, yeah, but I've got to take a break, haven't I? Right, I am wondering how long I've got left. Two hours left, I should think... Ah, there's a, a rest up... Resting area coming up here. Um, like there, in fact. I'm just wondering where my next stop will be. And I can't see one, actually. So I think that might be a good idea. It might be a good idea to get off here. I don't want to... <laughs> Again, if you watch the Cardiff Rostock disaster, I had a bloody terrible time finding a rest stop and I've learnt a few things <laughs> and one of them is two hours remaining let's just get off and get some rest screw it it's going to push it into probably night time I imagine but not to worry it's better that than getting fined continuously because the last thing I can do with this trailer is rush anywhere at all so and it's starting to rain yay bit of rain do you know what? I think I'm going to refuel. Um, if I take a wide swing... I should be alright, shouldn't I? Oops, too early. Forward a bit. There we go. Let's just fill up while we're here. I've got half a tank. Yeah, engine off. I always forget to turn my bloody engine off. Shit. <laughs> Pro truck driver in the house. Diesel, £1.16. you got to be kidding me. Not not from where I'm from, pal. Uh, yeah, if I keep going straight, I think I'm going to cut into the petrol station. Now, the rest stop is usually these car parks over here. So, I think I will need to try and get in here straight. Presumably, this trailer needs to be straight into here. Um... Hmm. Let's just give it a whirl. There's no way I can fit in that box, and unfortunately there's another bloody truck in front of me, so otherwise I'd just go straight through. So I'm not exactly sure. No, it's not picking that up. Shit. I'm in the box. My trailer's not in that box, though. Um... I wonder if I need to straighten it up a bit. If this is a problem because of the length of the trailer, then I'm really screwed. I'm not going to be able to rest anywhere at all. Just try and straighten it up. Maybe, uh, maybe that's all it is. 
Let's go this way a bit. God damn those brakes. I've got the brakes set a bit high. Brake sensitivity. Very useful, but keeps catching me out. Let's carefully try and not hit that truck there. And that's pretty straight. No. Hmm. Do you know what? I've got a plan. I've got a plan. If I park my trailer and then detach. Yeah, let's try and reverse my trailer into the get it get it off the road as it were. God damn, this is such a faff. I'm just trying to get my trailer down the side of this car, but it's so bloody long. But if I can park it, I can't really see the the, uh, the end bit there, but I'm thinking if I just put it here and then park up. Yep. It's not. Jesus, I'm going to clip my wing mirror. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get it any straighter in there anyway. I don't think it's going to get its own bay, but I'm not entirely sure that's going to matter. The important thing is not to knock that building over, I think. Will that do? Uh, I don't know. I, I, can't, I just don't think I'm going to get it into that bay, though. Maybe I should just detach it here and... At the end of the day, if I can't get rest, I am screwed. So hopefully, without a trailer... Yes, there you go. Brilliant. That counts. That's good to know. So, presumably I could just put my trailer anywhere and just uh, put my truck in one of these bays and then I can rest. Nice. That'll do. Time to rest. Right, so let's get this bad boy in the road. And what? What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell was that? That physics engine. I've never seen a scanner do that before. <laughs> All right. Well, it stopped raining, and uh, unfortunately, it's going to go dark. But that can't be helped. It's Sunday night. I've got uh, eight hours Sonoma ETA six a.m. So it looks like. The next 300 miles are going to be a night drive, which means, yeah, baby, let's get those beacons on. Oversized load coming your way. Oh, I'd love it if I got a police escort right now. That would be so cool. Because as this gets darker now, this is just going to look bad. And look at that. How cool is that? That's brilliant. Badass in the house. Yeah. Oh, it's ain't me. Right, so it's, um... It's pretty dark. Surprisingly, the beacons aren't that annoying. I've put my headlights on. I can screw them. I don't care. They can flash me all they want. I need the lights. I mean, the dipped headlights in this game, the visibility is just so small. And because the AI does crazy batshit things... I don't feel safe. Okay, we've got a tight bend coming up. This could be a problem. <clears throat> I think I'm just going to... Um, I'm going to have to stay as wide as I can. And when I merge in this time, I'm going to have to try and just cross the carriageway, I guess. I can't see if there's a barrier on the inside. I don't think there's a barrier on this one. It was just grass, wasn't it? It was completely different, but diff completely different to the last one. That's good. Oh, look at that. Scenic moment, guys. Scenic moment. This game. <laughs> I'll try not to crash. we got four hours left. I'm going to be there at Monday, 5am now. So I've obviously gamed a little bit of time. Which is good. But I'm just wondering where... I can't be that far... Oh, dear. Well, that doesn't look very good. 90-degree bend. That could be a problem. Another 90-degree bend. 
into Mets. Uh, yeah, my immediate concern is that. Although I've got another one first. Yeah, this is going to get interesting. <laughs> so, here we go. It's time to leave the motorway and take the first of these sharp bends. It's a T-junction, but there's no barriers. That's good. And no oncoming traffic. So, uh... Nothing coming that way. If I just... I might knock over this sign. I'll try not to. I can't really see what's going on on the inside. I think I clipped the grass. But it's so hard to see now. I'm going to put my, um main beams on that there we go let's get the beams on screw it auxiliary roof here we go let's have the lights dashboard that'll do that's more like it now i can see where the bloody hell i'm going and boy is this slowed down up this hill if i came around that bend to the <laughs> to the sight of these light these lights facing you it felt like some kind of alien spaceship landing Oh, dude, you might want to overtake now because, you know, you're going to be stuck there for a while, I think, pal. I doubt he'll overtake me. I ain't stopping. I ain't slowing down. Screw him. AI's trolled me enough in this bloody game. Uh, oh, shit, is that 90 degree bend? Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. I'm not looking, liking the look of this one. Um... I'm tempted to go... I'm tempted to get in the other bloody lane, to be honest. Thankfully, there's nothing coming. Here we go. Shit. Again, I can't see what's going on. I'm just going to keep left. Thankfully, there's nothing coming. Well, that wasn't as difficult as I thought. I thought that was going to be a bloody nightmare, but then again, if there was walls and barriers around those eggs, those that junction, I'd be screwed. I'm cutting the corner of absolutely everything. I think we're approaching the... Have we gone over the French border yet? I think so, because I think I'm coming up to the toll road now. There's not long left. There's only 50 miles left. Hello. Where are you going, pal? You know something I don't? What the hell? Do you see that? Who does that? Holy shit, who does that? He just got in the other lane, like 50 metres away from the truck in front, and then started his, his acceleration, and he did it right before a freaking toll bridge. Are you insane? Right, I'll tell you what, this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go straight in. I ain't going down that lane, I'm going to go straight through. That's my plan. There's no way I'm risking uh, any deviation straight as an arrow straight through here don't know how much going to charge me oh, i'll just get a ticket of this one fair enough yep piece of cake that's what i say what what the fuck why am i stuck i can't move the hell i seem to be jammed on something Oh, shit. Look, the barrier. Oh, fuck. The barrier's come down right in the middle of the bloody trailer. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to fix this. That's not detached it. I can't move the trailer. I'm fucked. <laughs> There's no way out of this. It's come down because it's going for the original length of the trailers, and now I am totally stuck. I can't move it. I can't detach. I think I'm going to have to reload the game. Bollocks! Okay, so we've reloaded, and... Because that was a bit shit. And, because there's just no way out of that at all. Uh, the game's obviously basing the trailers on the normal size, and the barriers come down, it's slammed into the middle of my trailer, and then it wouldn't release my trailer, it just, just completely game-locked it. 
So, um, I'm wondering what I'm going to do, but I've got a theory, right? This is what I'm going to try. First thing, basically, what I need to do is try and get a run-up. I figure if I can get through that barrier quicker than it comes down, I can get through it. But in order to get a run-up, I think what I'm going to have to do is pay the toll, or take my ticket, then back up, and then accelerate through it. So, to do that, I don't want anything behind me, so I'm going to risk this. I'm going to go over here. Bloody brakes catching me out again. I'm going to go over here, because the cars are probably going to go through that, that lane to my left there, and not this one. That's my theory. Here we go. Yeah, look, he's gone in that other lane. That's brilliant. I'm going to grab my ticket. Then reverse. Not sure how far to go back. I don't want that coming back down again, but I'm assuming the game won't. Right, now to floor it. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Speed up, you bitch. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Where's the barrier? There's the barrier. Ooh! <laughs> the back end. You see that? The trailer. It kicked up as the barrier came down. The trailer just like bounced up in the air. It, it worked. It worked. The theory works. And now I've got another problem. I've got a 90 degree bend to deal with. And there's a truck coming at me. Fuck. Stay there, pal. Stay there. Fellow truck driving all that. Yeah? Stay. Stay. Shit. Shit. Ouch. Fuck. And... Oh, bollocks. I'm stuck again. <laughs> oh, man. I'm not to sign over. I'm probably going to have to take the lamppost with me. Shh, no. Am I? Am I going to make it? Oh, shit. <laughs> this is nasty. I'm stuck on this. Oh, crud. Right, reverse, reverse, reverse. That signpost is going to... The, the Whatever this is, is going. It's going. I can't save it. I'm going to take it out. Or oh, apparently I'm not going to take it out because my trailer is transparent. <laughs> what the hell? So basically, my truck can hit things, but my trailer can't. What, the heck? what just happened? I don't understand that. Oh man, that... Oh, that toll bridge. Presumably I'm going to have another one down here. I'm going to have to do exactly the same thing again. I did not anticipate that. Hey, you know what? If I take the oversized trailers that are really high, I'm not even going to get through that. I'm going to have to be really careful not to ever take a job with a really high trailer that goes through a toll road because it isn't going to go through at all. Like I was, you know, I just figured out how to get that long one through, but there's no way I'm going to get a high trailer through there. It just it'll just hit the roof. And they may even be... Jeez, yeah, they might even hit bridges in this game. Oh well, that's another day. I'll have to try that one another day. Here we go. Uh, I've got to do this all over again. And the trouble is, when I loaded it last time, that sent me back about 10 minutes of gaming or something. I don't fancy doing that again. Let's try and make this work first time. Go away from me, dude. Don't sit behind my truck. Go away. Go somewhere else, pal, because I need to reverse. Oh, seriously, don't follow me into here. You dick. Go away. Go away. Do you know what? I'm just going to push him out of the way. I don't care. Get lost. Get lost. Go back. If this... Oh, man. Here we go. If this doesn't... I'm going to lose ten minutes and have to reload it. Come on, you bitch. Ah, fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck, am I stuck? No, I'm through. <laughs> oh, Jesus, that was close. I thought that was it. And I wonder where we are. Here we are. We just left that toll road and... We're almost there, aren't we? Yeah, there you go. It's just round the corner, in fact. Nothing nasty apart from a couple of 90 degrees at the end. Nothing I can't handle. I've got this. I've got this licked. <laughs> I don't know if you guys fancy driving these oversized trailers, but you probably learnt something watching me do this. Bloody hell. And we're almost there. 
the sun's coming out. It's... What's that in front of me? Is that a... Um, a not a cement mixer, a... It's a grain... Is that a grain um, tra a trailer? I think so. I'll follow him. He probably knows where he's going. Actually, he's in my lane anyway, so I'm going to have to follow him. So, <laughs> approaching Mets. Don't think I've been to Mets before. So, I should get a discovery. Come on, dude. You don't need to go that slow. Look at the size of my trailer, for God's sake. They always do this. The AI. Even the cars do this. They slow down and then go round bends at a particular speed. And then they just accelerate away again like they don't weigh anything. I wish they put some proper physics in that AI. I've said that before anyway. I'd really like it if they brought some variation into the AI cars and the trucks. They need to make this feel this place feel more lived in, you know? A bit more random. It's all very clinical. I mean, it's beautiful looking, but it's all very, you know, clean and precise and... What's the word I'm looking for? Um, computerized. I mean, I know it is, but that's, it kind of feels computerized. It doesn't feel natural. Things don't seem to vary. I think I've got to take a left here, yeah. That's quite a long trailer. It's not as long as mine, but it's quite a long trailer. It definitely looks like a, a grain thing. But yeah, I'd just like to see the world more lived in. Maybe Euro Truck 3. Or, uh... Is it American Truck they're making? Look at that. It doesn't look very long when you look at it at that angle. It must be a weird perspective thing. But it is. It's freaking long. Of course, the danger with that thing is that I end up going through red lights because the... You know, I start going through a red light, and then the red light changes. One more 90 degree bend, I think. Maybe two, and we're home dry. Here we go. I don't know. I was thinking about whether I'm going to be able to actually uh, park the trailer or not. And I'm thinking I won't be able to. I'll be lucky if I can get around this bloody bend. But I doubt there's going to be enough room. From my memory of this particular style of um, drop-off. I think I might hit the wall here, but we'll see. Yeah, from my memory of this particular style of drop-off, there's not a lot of room for manoeuvre. As you can see. Am I going to hit the wall? Oh no, I've got... Yeah, I've got plenty of space. I may just have to give up the ghost on this one, but look at that. Shit. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work, but I'll give it a go. Those um, pallets over there are going to be a bit of a problem. I need to try and get in. Yeah, if if that fence wasn't there by another sort of, maybe another 20, 30 metres, I could get an angle on this. But as it stands right now... Um, okay. Need to go not that way, need to go this way. See look, it's not straightening, is it? Look at that. So what I need to be able to do now is go through that fence about half a trailer's length, and then I get an angle to reverse it in. Well carry on, see what happens. Yeah, I mean, this isn't really working. <laughs> this, this the pallets are in the way, I just can't get the thing in though. Fuck it. It's not often to do that, but I think it's justly deserved. Good work, in fact. I think I lost a damage penalty. That was when I came around that bend. But that's not so bad. I did it! I got the thing home, amazingly, after that toll road. Let's see what my upgrades are. To be honest, after that toll road... Ooh, a new engine. And a new paint job down there. To be honest, when I saw that toll road, I uh, I thought that was game on, you know, game over. And um, I loaded it back in. As I had to, really. I was stuck completely. I had no choice and lost 10 minutes. Going to knock, uh, visit this upgrade shop and upgrade this engine before I finish um, this journey, I think. Never going to turn down a bigger engine. I'm starting to claw my money back now. I'm on 83 grand after that disastrous run from to uh, Rostock. But I actually made a profit on this one. Let's get this engine, see how much it costs. It should be an upgrade, so it shouldn't be that much. 
Uh, which one is it? That one there. 16 grand new. I've got a 480 to a 500. Is it even worth it? Six grand to change. Screw it. Let's do it. Let's have the biggest engine I can. Quick repair for two grand. So yeah, I made I made a decent profit on that one. But that was more about fun than profit. I mean, there's much more profitable journeys than that. So, uh, yeah. That was a good journey. I didn't damage anything. Didn't get any speeding tickets. Didn't get any tired tickets. Uh, had a laugh with the toll road. And um, compared to last journey, you know what? I think I might... Um, I don't want to spend the money, but I'm going to have a look at that paint job. Because that looks a bit badass. Where is it? Paint shop. Uh, blade. Oh my god. Whoa, that looks nice. That looks nice. It doesn't look 26 grand nice, but... That is sweet. I wonder if I can... Um you can figure the colours. Bit of red. We want a strong colour though, don't we? Could have a green version of it. Green's not really my colour, but that does look quite nice. Especially with the rest of it being green as well. What else have we got here? Orange? We can go like a fiery orange with that. That's not bad. Whoa, God, psychedelic! Let's tone it down. Blue. Yeah, it looks good, but it's a bit sedate in my opinion. Although there are some shades that aren't bad. That's a bit baby blue. Fuck! <laughs> Green! <laughs> nah, I don't like that very much. I kind of like the red that it started off with, to be honest. More like a crimson, wasn't it? A bit, a bit like that. It was like a crimson red. That does look nice. I have to say, that does look nice. But, I'm going to have to cancel that. I am not wasting any more money. I need to build up my reserves. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Well, I hope you enjoyed that oversized cargo run. My adventure shall continue in the next episode. Until next time, guys. Happy trucking. <laughs>